Hey, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. I hope that everyone is having a blessed day. You know, I had told you that I would bring you a story time, and a story time it is. And this story time is not to um, bash anyone because you know that's not what my channel is about. But this story time is about betrayal by blood. And it's in hopes of, it's with the hopes of helping someone who has gone through this experience or is going through this experience or like preventive maintenance with your car. Perhaps it could prevent this from happening to you. You all ever heard of the Long Lost Loves? You know, remember that show, Long Lost Loves, where the man will come in. He would find long lost relatives and loved ones for people, just, you know, everyday average people like me and you. Me and, you. and um, they, he may find, they may find that that person was adopted, so they may want to find their birth mother. They may, may want to find their birth father or their brother or sister, uh, just a long lost relative. And a lot of them have a lot of happy stories. Well... My story is how is how I was betrayed by blood. I was betrayed in a way that as a Christian I know it says to forgive. And really, that's how you move on with your life, is to forgive. It's not for you. It's not for them, the other person. It's for you. Because nine times out of ten, when a person has betrayed you, they have really gone, they go on with their lives, you know. Um, I just want to say that the, pers the other person involved you'll hear from their mouth of their involvement in the betrayal. And um, I'm gonna put those, put, put, her, put their video in mine, in my video. But let me just tell you also before I start, and please just bear with me, I'm gonna get through this nice and smooth. I don't have any notes or anything like that because Hey, <laughs> Whew. I don't need any notes, but I just want to, you know, reach out to my viewers and then you'll get a, you know, that's a little something personal about me that, you know, uh, something that I'm dealing with and um, been dealing with mentally for a while, off and on, you know. So anyway... I want to tell you about a link I'm going to put in my in in my description box below on the video the intro video to blood betrayal or betrayed by blood and it's the video well I'm not gonna tell you what what's what I'm wearing in the video it's like that I'm just gonna put the link in there so I put that link in that video um, and what I did with that was I gave you an intro into the background of, of of everyone involved, of all parties involved. But just a little background, past background and stuff, you know, but that's what background is. But anyway, um, let me go ahead by saying, again, this is no way to bash anyone or anything like that. The person that I was betrayed, I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. Um, when I first discovered the news, I was livid. I was angry and hurt. Or I should say mad and hurt, okay? So, let me just go ahead and say this. <clears throat> 
you know, for my father, who was a good Christian man, okay, my father, who was a very wise Christian man who had the patience of Job, he um, and my mother met when she already had two children, a boy and a girl, my sister and my brother. We never went by half this or step this, anything like that. We had my, my older sister and brother already. My, my parents got together. My father had a son before they got together who is a year older than me. His birthday is in April, mine is October. Okay, he's 59. 1959, I'm um, 1960. All right. Okay. Now, let's just follow. I just want you to follow the story. I don't want it to be too complicated for you. I don't want to make it complicated because I want you to, to really understand. And first, I want to thank you. Let me thank you, first of all, for joining my channel for joining me and know that I do ASMRs, mood bangs, story times, challenges, uh, lip syncs, mock pressions, and so forth. Um, just like to have a good time and enjoy life. Um, so, let me go ahead and get into this story. When my father was living the last time I had saw my brother, we were nine and ten years old, or both nine, because, well, anyway, we were nine and ten years old, or nine years old. The last time we saw each other, that was in the late 60s. And I remember him running around uh, in our neighborhood and stuff with the other kids and, and things like that. So, that was the last time I had saw him, physically. Then, fast forward to, I had my daughter, my oldest daughter, when I was 15 years old. I saw his mother when I was, right after I gave birth to my oldest daughter, who's now 44. So, I asked her, um... No, she told me, she showed me pictures of how my, bro, you know, my brother and how she was saying how he was doing and everything. And that, you know, of course, she had other children. So she was saying that this is, these are your other brothers and sisters, or, you know, and so forth. Okay. So I always remember this lady. It's been a, a beautiful lady. She, I mean, she was, she was, uh, she was very pretty. Light complexed. And... I never remember her being any, I never heard any negative things about her. All right, so fast forward. And um, I lost touch with my, my, my brother. My, my dad lost touch with them. Everyone lost touch with them. It was, it was said that they, they moved to New York. So, for, let me just say, for over 40 years off and on, I hadn't seen my brother in over 40 years off and on. For over 40 years off and on, I looked for my brother. I looked for my brother. When I got married, before I got married, I looked for him. When I got married, I looked for him. And how did I look for him? They had that 1-800, or not 1-800, they had that thing called USA Search. And back in the day, during the 90s, we would just fast forward to, to the 90s. And during the 90s, they had um, the USA Search. But what you had to do is they will send you, you tell them the name and you have to tell them the state, the city and state where you think that person has, the last location where you think that person resides. And they're going to send you phone numbers and addresses of 
everybody with that name that reside there. So if I sent in for that name and I said New York, they're going to send me everybody with their last name. And I'll just say this. Mind you that um, <laughs> during that time, you could not... Um, There was a uh, long distance, you have to pay for long distance. And I'll tell you, I'm going to cover this, my address up and stuff. But this is the U.S. search. This is, I used to be a pack rat years ago, okay, but a neat one. But this is the U.S. search that I use. 1-800-US-SEARCH. And like I said, I went through, I went through you all. <laughs> These are my receipts, okay? I went through this, and I was call, I called numbers. I called numbers, you know, but I didn't go through the whole thing. And so anyway, this was postmarked. I don't have my glasses on you all, but it has to be, I think it's 96, 1996, June of 1996, okay? So I searched, and I searched, and I searched. I went to the Salvation Army because they will help you look for people too. Um, I have a letter, I still have my letter from them from when I went to the Salvation Army. I went to 1-800-USA search. I tried um, different search, you know, it wasn't a lot of search engines, you know, Google like that um, during the early 90s. So, couldn't do that. So, um, fast forward to, I want to say this is 2021, 2019, 18, 17, 16. I want to say in 2015 or 16 I am Inspector Clouseau okay I call myself Inspector Clouseau <laughs> G calls me Inspector Gadget but I will investigate investigate until I get to where I need to get to, okay? Until I get to the bottom of the situation, okay? So, all I, I you know, um, fast forward to 2015 or 2016, I can't remember which year, but it's been a few years ago. I'm, I was doing, I did my research. Zaba Search, Z-A-B-A, -A, Zaba Search, 411.com, um, Facebook, with all of that, when I found them on 411.com and, and Zaba search, because one of the things that helped me was because my maiden name is very unique for black people. Period. Okay? It's a very unique name. So, that made it easier for me to find, to find him. So, I found him. And I talked to him, and we we skyped, and we skyped on the we skyped, and it was a it was actually Christmas that year Christmas. I was like, and I'm just thinking about this. Because that was the Christmas, I said, that was the best Christmas gift that I had. Because I hadn't seen him in over 40 years. Well, I found him. And he was like, you know, I was a little hesitant because, you know, we were, uh, uh, we do a lot of stuff for the community, be prominent in the community and stuff like that. So, and we have a business. So I didn't want to, uh, I, I'm, I'm hesitant about 
you know, if you were, you know, who you said you were and all this kind of stuff. But he knew about me and everything, right? So anyway, um, that's funny. So we Skype, and once we saw once we saw each other on Skype, he was like, him and his wife, they were both like, wow, you know, y'all look alike, and this and that, you know. And I was telling him about, you know, uh, my, my dad, my, my father passed, my daddy passed away in 1991, uh, not, not 1991, I'm sorry, 2001. May 27, 2001 is when my father passed away. It was a lot of things that he didn't know that as I was talking to him, I filled him in on a lot of information. His mom had led him to believe that my, my father had passed away uh, a, um, earlier than he had. Um, his mom was feeding a lot of stories, a lot of lies to him as to how, why they didn't make it and things like that. So um, I did have the opportunity to ask my mother before she passed away. I did I, I have opportunity to tell my mother that I had met him and everything, but she didn't know, but she had passed away before. I don't think I got to tell her what, what happened because even my 80-something-year-old mother would have been uh, <laughs> on a plane to where he's at. So, anyway, let me go ahead and um, try to get through this a little faster, you all. And I'm sorry if I'm getting, getting through it a little slow. It's just that I'm a visual person. And uh, as I'm speaking these things, I'm visualizing them as well, okay? So, <laughs> so just bear with me, please. But please, just stay for it. Just stay for it. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a background so you kind of know, you know, the gist of things. Okay, so what we're going to say, is, but what happened is we decided to meet up. We discovered that we had been four hours away from each other. since the 90s. We have been four hours away from each other. Okay? So, come to find out, he's in Virginia. He lives in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Okay? So, we're only a few hours or uh, several hours away from each other, right? Not that not, not far. Him and his wife have come to my home, has come to my home. We, we, he, when I first met him, and we first saw each other, he, you know, he held me and he was so happy and he was just like, you know what, now that I, now that uh, we found each other, I'm never going to let you go. I'm never letting you go, sis. I was so happy. Oh, and I do have a younger brother, but he, he ain't no but. Uh, however, he is uh, younger than me. He came along when uh, we were 15 years apart. So he came along with my, uh, my other brother and sister. You know, they had already moved out the house and, and everything like that. Y'all know Mama was a rolling stone. Y'all know I got story times about that, but we just going to go ahead with this. So, um, so he came, him and his wife have come and stayed at my house for the weekend. You understand? I've gone to their home. Me and G have gone to their home and stayed for the weekend. So, here's the story, you all.
when I went to his house, me and G went to his house, uh, his mom uh, came over and some of his family, um, his, his wife's family came over and stuff and we ate outside and um, just enjoyed each other, right? Well, he met my youngest daughter, but he didn't meet my oldest daughter until later. But let me tell you, the bottom line is, you all, he tried to come on to my daughter. He tried to come on to my daughter, my baby girl. She'll be 30 this year, but that's my child. That's his niece. He knows that's his niece. He know he's met her. Um, we've all had uh, just talked about different things and stuff. You know, when he came down for food, he knows that's his niece. Okay. So, for those of you in the back that don't know what it means when someone says, or particularly a black person says, hey, you know, they tried to hit on me. No, they didn't try to hit you with anything. They tried to come on to you. They tried to come on to someone sexually or with, you know, with some ideas of sexual, you know, um, pleasure, whatever, you know. He tried to come on to my daughter. And that's why I have this as my background today. And this. And this. Because I thank God for his grace. I thank God for his mercy. Thank God for redemption. I thank God for all of those things. Because <clears throat> because that is my blood that is my blood she came out of my body. That's blood of my blood. You understand? And that's why I thank God for his grace and his mercy. Because he has given me grace and mercy. Because the old me, the old me, it would have been a total different scene, a total different scene, a total different outcome. 
as a mother, there's nothing that you wouldn't do for your child. As a mother, you want the best for your children. And I just want to say this. I thank God that I don't have no fast tail girl, but y'all already knew that. I have a smart young lady, intelligent, who knows her worth whose father take, has taken her to the gun range. Okay, don't play. No, let me stop. But who knows her word? You understand what I'm saying? Mothers. So, you say, well, Flop, beautifully, did you talk to them? Did you, did you approach? Yes. Not physically, I couldn't, I wasn't there physically, but that, yes, a confrontation was made. And he gonna, he's going to say, well, I was just kind of saying, well, hey, I was just playing. No, you was not playing. There's no playing in that. Do you know what you have done? Do you know what you have just done? You have destroyed any any and everything that we have built just in just a couple of years that we've known each other. You, everything has been destroyed. What is wrong with you? And I'm going to tell you, if you're watching this, people that's watching this, know that women can be as vindictive, manipulative, and sexual deviants. Sometimes worse than men. Please understand what I'm saying to you. Please understand what I'm saying to you. And if your daughter or your son mom or dad, I'm talking to you all now, if your daughter or your son come to you and they say that someone has uh, said something to them inappropriate or done something to them inappropriately, trust your child, okay? So, again, with that, so I don't, I don't have no problem with that. I had no problem with trusting my child because I know my child. You know how people say, well, my kid wouldn't do this or my kid wouldn't do that? That I know my child. I know my I know about my child on that. Okay? He confronted her wanting her to be sexually active with him. And I'm going to tell you, some people would have taken him up on that offer. Because I've seen some fast tales that do it, that have done it, okay? Or will do it. I've seen it where people will be married and have their uh, boyfriend or girlfriend living in the house, saying it's their cousin. I've seen people take, wait for their spouse to go to work and take everything in the house including the curtains the curtain rods and even the carpet whatever is not peeled down sealed down nailed down they're gonna get it and I'm gonna tell you I'm not a judgmental person but I'm a pretty good judge of character and when it comes to I, I, I chill, I don't mess with anyone, but when it comes to me and mine, my children, people that I love, my significant other or a spouse or whatever, you have your people mixed up when you come into me because
I'm going to tell you, I have mad, mad, mad respect for the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., okay? However, I'll tell you that I am Martin. I meant I'm Martin in my speech. I'm Martin in my speech. But I'm Malcolm X in my reach. Seriously. It's never meant, it's never good to bother people that don't bother others. That's never good. It's like when a woman is silent. <laughs> don't do it. So, what I want to say is that's been about four or five years, I want to say, four or five years ago. I only think about it from time to time. Only thought in my mind would be, wow, you know, such betrayal. How could you, how could you, how could you do this? How could you do this? And after everything settled, my thoughts settled, I said to myself, he has a lot of gall. He has a lot of gall to do it to me? So, let's fast forward. Yesterday was the 23rd, I believe. Yesterday was Tuesday. And, um, and, um, I was telling you on another video that I have came across some 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 news, <clears throat> some troubling news. Well, I'll tell you this. His wife was no help. His wife said she told his mother and his mother said, oh, that's something the two of them need to work out. His mother had my phone number we have talked, uh, she, we've talked before, just calling, I called to say hello or whatever to check on her. I thought I met, you know, met up with my brother. So between them, none of them responded in any type of mature or adult matter. Wait, neither one of them responded. So, last month, this is February, last month, I'm on my way out, and so I, I, I drop at my mail, stop at my mailbox, and um, I see this letter, I see this envelope, and it has my mate name. Like I say, it's an unusual name for black folks. But it has my mate name. I'm like, mm, who would be, you know, sending me something with my mate name? So I'm just ripping the thing open. And then, and I did not think about it until I opened it. And so... He had the nerve, or I'll say him and his wife, had the nerve to send me a Christmas card. I have not spoke to you in years, in several years. You have betrayed me. But most of all, you betrayed my child. 
You betrayed my daughter. You betrayed my daughter. And I'm supposed to be okay with that? That's why I said in the beginning of this video, I know it talks about forgiveness. Father God, I'm not there yet. I'm sorry. I'm not there yet. The pain and the hurt that you cause me It's priceless. You understand that? I don't know if you watch my channel or whatever. But I have I have brothers. Well, I'll talk about my oldest brother more because we were the one uh we were we lived together uh most of most of our lives. You know, growing up. My oldest brother, Michael, he's, he passed away in 2008. My oldest brother, Michael, loved his little sister, which is me. He loved his little sister. There was nothing that he would not do for his little sister or his niece, his nieces. There was nothing that he wouldn't do for us. As far as having the love, compassion, and empathy as if anybody harmed us, you know, he would be there. Brothers are to be protectors of their sisters. They're supposed to love their sisters and be protect, protect their sisters. My brother Michael always protected me. And he always loved me. And I always like, loved him. And I miss him to this day. And I can't imagine my brother. I couldn't imagine my brother betraying me the way that you did. So please, you have the nerve to send a letter. So guys, I don't. I guess he don't feel as though he owed my daughter an apology because it's really not about me. Me, I can handle it, and obviously my daughter, she can handle it as well because she came straight to me. I was the first phone call. I was the first uh, when she, she I, come home, come to me. But my daughter, having the love that she has for me, was more concerned about me. Wow, you know? My mom's gonna be hurt. She looked for this man. She looked for him. And she was so happy. And you destroyed it. You and your wife destroyed it. And the bad news that I was talking about was something that was telling me to check obituaries. And I see that his mother passed away December 21st, 2020. When I'm going through these things, I try to ask myself, what would Jesus do? I really do. But I also bring along loved ones or a loved one that's always been in my corner and loved me unconditionally, which is my father. 
And I'd be like, man, wow, dang, what would daddy do? What would he say? So I try to handle myself. I try to handle myself accordingly for those two. And my daddy that's in my heart. So, my daughter is going to just say her part, what she, you know, how she felt about uh, the situation, how she felt, you know, just from her perspective, from her view, and and what uh, things, you know, you know, if she was uh, hesitant about saying anything or whatever, you know, what if just what her feelings was. You know, she's a grown woman. She's a grown lady. And that's another thing. She's a grown woman. She's almost 30, but she looks like a teenager. And any time you see a man talking about uh, attracted to somebody that looks like a little girl, that's another thing. That's a double whammy, okay? They got some issues. Well, my thing to you, if you're watching this video, you need to get some help. And your wife needs to get help as well. Both of you all, you need to get some help. And I can guarantee you, Flaw Beautifully fam, when a person has done something like this, It is not the first time. And I said I was going to have a burn party. I will be burning this mess. Okay? I will be burning this mess. You betray someone and you send them a doggone Christmas card. What, three, four, five years after you have betrayed them? Like, as if nothing has happened. And you address the person that's supposed to be your sister. I, you know, I just don't get it. I don't know. I, I know what it is. It's because you don't know me. But now you know. Just remember, like I said. I'm Malcolm, I'm Dr. Martin Luther King <laughs> with the speech, but I'm Mr. X, Mr. Malcolm X with the reach. Please don't test me. I'm enjoying my life. All right? And I really don't care one way or another if you're enjoying yours. And that's facts. You have to understand what you've done. And if you're asking me, what can you do to make things right? <laughs> you're asking the wrong person, okay? You're asking the wrong person. But I can tell you the sending of someone who you have betrayed, a letter, a text, an email, a, a gift card, a doggone card, a Christmas card, an Easter card, I don't care, mud day card, I don't care what the heck it is. That does not, that's, that's, that's the wrong start right there. That's not the way to do it. And for those who
go after people and talk about people and all this kind of stuff if you when you're doing it if you do it publicly you apologize publicly you understand what i'm saying and y'all remember that all collabs and good collabs all views and you know all collabs and good collabs and all that kind of stuff you know what I'm saying. But y'all take care of yourself. And I just wanted to bring you, I know it's alone, it's almost an hour long, um, a story time that I did, but it's, uh, it was necessary, you all. Because somebody out there, they have all this uh, trafficking and stuff. You know what I'm saying. So I have to be careful with my words on YouTube because I don't want to get in trouble for them, okay? or get flagged or anything like that for wrong choice of words. All right, so that's why I try to be careful. But I want to thank you all for checking out this story time, Betrayed by Blood. And I'm not saying don't believe, don't don't try to go and find your loved one or something like that, that it's going to turn out the same way that mine did. That's not what I'm saying because there is some beautiful, wonderful, and beautiful stories out there, you know. But it's just that mine just happened to be in a percentage to where it went or it went awry. So, a question for you. <laughs> I don't need any advice on forgiveness or anything like that. I already know what I plan to do and what I'm doing to heal my my mind and my emotions. But I just want to know from me to you, would you forgive someone in the same, exact same circumstances? Would you forgive someone who has done this to you in the exact same circumstances? Would you forgive them? If you would, I would like to know why. If you won't, I would like to know why as well. I really would. I like to know where people's heads are at. And, you know, and also, not only that, but it's always good to know other, view, other people's views. You know, you're just not stagnant and it's just not all about you. Because I'm going to tell you, this experience... I'm not the first person that has been through this experience, you know? So, um, but like I said, I can handle me. But when you messing with people that I love, that's when you're going to see a different side. So, I will be burning this and its contents of this card. You all have a blessed day. I hope you got something from this video. I hope you got something out of this video. I really do. And y'all stay safe out there. Stay safe and be blessed. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, 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 share. Let them know what the girl is out here doing. Y'all out here doing them ASMRs, them challenges, them mukbangs, um, story times, lip syncs, mock pressures, all of that good stuff. Until next time, you know I love you for free. Beautiful people. <laughs> That's what my mom says. Hello, beautiful people. Like, 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 share, share, share. Well, I wanted to give my side of the story as far as what she was talking about on the last segment of the video. Um, I wanted to backtrack on what actually happened. So, as she said, she was looking for her brother for years, decades, um, and it just so happened I got a job offer from a really good um, company that I actually work for now and it required me to move to Fredericksburg so I'm not from Fredericksburg or Virginia or anything like that so 
I didn't have a place to stay and it just so happened that my mom had just made a reconnection with her brother who lives in Fredericksburg. So he told me that I could stay with him until I find, you know, a place to stay, until I get my feet wet and all of that stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, on the first day that I got there, it was over the weekend and I had my first day of work on Monday. So over the weekend, everything was cool. My sister came with me and we met the whole family and everything was fine. So on Monday, I went to my first day of work. Everything was great. Went. I'm sorry, got off of work and my mom's brother picked me up and he was saying that um, he wanted to just go pick up some things in the, in the city and stuff like that. So I rode with him to do so. Upon riding with him, everything was cool, but on our way back to his house, he said something like, oh, well, you gonna let me try it? In my head, I was like, is he really saying what he's... No. So I'm like, what What are you talking about? And he repeated himself. He said, are you going to let me try it? Like, see what it's like. Like, basically saying he wants to do some sexual whatever to try it out. And I told him, I was like, no, that's not... You got the wrong person. And mind you, when this happened, we were on our way back to his house and I'm in his car and it's just me and him in the car and it's like a 30 minute drive back to his house so I'm very uncomfortable because I don't live in Virginia I don't know anybody in Virginia and I'm just stuck in this grown man's car who is sending me sexual innuendos so we finally get back, which I felt like it took forever to get back. And I was contemplating in my head if I wanted to call mom because I knew how much this would hurt her hearing this. Because she searched for him for so long and she was so happy to finally find him. So that night, I spent the night in the house. But then when I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I packed all my stuff quietly, put it in my car, and I called my mom, and I said, Mom, I know that this is not going to sit right with you, but I need to tell you something. And I told her, this is what he did, this is what he said, this is what he put me through. And instantly, of course, she believes me. And she was like, yeah, just go ahead and drive home. Mind you, I'm in Virginia, so I had to drive all the way back home to Jacksonville, North Carolina. So go ahead and take that four-hour drive and drive home. And it was just hurtful to me because I know how much it meant to her to find him. And I never thought that she wouldn't believe me or anything like that. It was just the fact that I didn't want to crush her dreams that was holding me back from telling her. So um, I want to encourage any and all people, male, female, boy, girl, woman, man, whatever, if anybody violates you either physically or even says something verbally to you that's in violation, to go ahead and tell your parents because they have a right to know and your parents are there to protect you so don't hesitate to tell them the truth even if you're in this kind of circumstance or even if you're in another circumstance because you could possibly be saving somebody else from going through that and you shouldn't be ashamed because that's something somebody did onto you but 
I do want to also take the time out to say thank you to my mom for one, believing me, two, making this like an awareness type thing, and three, having the loyalty to me to protect me and to get rid of this guy, not only out of my life, but also out of her life. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Don't worry about me, cause you know, I get over things real quickly. Um, I'm the type of person that I can just cut somebody off real quick and I won't even think about you anymore, but I understand that for my mom, it's a little harder and it's a little bit more heartbreaking because she waited 40 years to see him and to meet him again, so, yeah. Yeah. So I encourage her to stop crying. And I don't look like a teenager either. I look like a grown woman. <laughs> but like, 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 share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And have a great and blessed day.